series. Um, and of course, I should say, as a disclaimer, I'm sure you should be aware of this anyway, these are my personal opinions. Um, there's nothing particularly deep. <laughs> so don't deep them yourself. Uh, you're allowed to have a different opinion, and that's fine. Um, and in the comments, let me know what you think. be interesting to know. So I'm going to pop a couple of these pieces in. Okay, pop them in. I just find like hot weather is really really nice when you're at a poolside or you're on holiday and you're not, not worried um, or you can call off easily I guess or you're not you know you're, you're not stressed or thinking about other things um, if you're trying to work and it's hot I find it only really like emboldens any kind of um, stress any stressful feelings it makes like things more stressful um, I get overheated very very quickly as well so I don't really like the warm weather if I'm honest um, other than when I'm about to jump into a pool on holiday warm weather's really nice at home if I had to live with one I would live with cold weather because I think I've seen someone say this before but one thing I've, I've seen that is um, a, good, a good kind of like reflection of this is to say um, you know with cold weather you can put as many layers on as you possibly can to stay warm whereas 
there's only so many things you can take off to stay cool in the heat um, you know without ripping your flesh off <laughs> which would not cool you down obviously and you should not try that so I would say personally yeah cold weather is better than warm weather in just a general life if you're going on holiday obviously not but I think yeah if I if I had to choose to live with one for the rest of my life it would be it would be cold weather um, as long as there's good heating in the home I'm living in I wonder what you think of that one guys why do you prefer cold or warm weather cold or hot weather specifically and I it's not just like a warm weather either it is hot weather like bright sun really really roasting heat like sometimes I'll be going to the shop and I'm just like damn I just don't want to deal with this heat uh, the next opinion is cereal tastes better without milk who's saying that cereal tastes better without milk I mean it's designed to have milk so I don't know who's saying that it's just it's very dry, I guess it depends on the cereal you're having, I guess, but generally cereal is designed to absorb milk, to soften it and make it more pleasing to eat. I guess it can be nice and crunchy, but like I have eaten cereal without milk before and I, I wouldn't choose to do it. better than their movie adaptations. Books are always better than their movie adaptations. I think generally speaking that's probably true. I don't think I, dis I disagree with the unpopular opinion that it is always the case. Um, I, I don't think it's always that way around. is that the books are better and um, yeah the, the, the books are better than the movies that they come from for many different reasons <laughs> mostly because the books I mean they have like a, a, a what like they're not limited by time if that makes sense like you could write a book the size of Dune and that's okay um, maybe you would struggle getting it published I don't really know the ins and outs of book publishing so I couldn't really attest to that but it seems to me from um, an outside point of view that publishing a book that is long is easier than trying to um, suggest a like four or five hour movie so um, with that in mind um, I think it's kind of um, I think it's kind of hard to really compare because the movies have a limited runtime. They can't do everything that happens in the book. The book has time to like really delve. 
delve into very specific things, maybe side stories or more context for a character. Many of the times, the books, you know, stories in books rely on that inner monologue to understand what's going on. Um, and sometimes with film, that doesn't always translate well because intentions aren't always clear. Um, when a book very specifically, you know, has a character in a monologue say, I feel this way, sometimes that won't come across on screen. So sometimes when it comes from a book, <coughs> it doesn't adapt very well because of many different reasons. Um, do I think that's always the case? I don't, I don't think so. <coughs> I'm trying to think in my head if there's any specific examples. I know there's definitely some because I've thought of it before. Um, I've thought of this question before, but um, in, in the moment nothing is coming to mind. I guess the question is whether or not we're including uh, like TV shows in this. It does specifically say movie adaptations, so I guess maybe that's the case, but like, are we including things like Game of Thrones, which is obviously from a book into a TV show? Um, or The Witcher, for example. Um, not suggesting either of those would change that opinion, but just curious if that is what we would be including, but I think we're going to stick with just movie adaptations. Um, man, I wish I could think off the top of my head if there's anything that comes to mind. It's hard to tell, you know. Um, I guess, unfortunately, I can't think of anything. Um, but I know I don't. I don't agree with that unpopular opinion personally. I I think that are movies that are done better than the books and I think to kind of say that always better would be uh, would be wrong but I think generally in most cases probably um, sliders had to get rid of them because I had to walk outside in them and trod in some bird shit. <laughs> but um uh, but I had some sandals um a, a 
or sliders, whatever you would call them, um, that were obviously open toe. And when I would walk around in the house with my socks on in those, it would just feel weird. Like it's, it's a weird sensation. So I cannot imagine wearing proper sandals in whatever, or sliders in whatever capacity they are, and going outside into the world with them on like that. I just cannot imagine it. Because to me, the purpose of sandals is to let your feet breathe. But if they, you've got socks on, so that it's like, it seems completely pointless. <laughs> I don't get it. I don't get why you would want to do it unless you've got like, unless you're conscious of like your, your feet or you've got like some kind of condition with them where you need to keep them covered. That's different. <laughs> I kind of, I, you know, understand why you would want to do it from then um, and why it makes you more comfortable. But when you don't have those reasons, I just can't imagine like why. Um, maybe it's just like ease, like slip them on and off. It's nice and easy. I don't know. But that is that's definitely an unpopular opinion, and one that I definitely do not agree with. Um, so there you go. They are some. subscribe again if you are already hit that bell icon.